Congratulations, you have just taken the first step in overcoming your limiting beliefs. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, the founder of Sutton Full Potential, and for the next five minutes, I'm going to be your personal guide on how to overcome your limiting beliefs. I'm going to guide you through the process to overcome your limiting beliefs. We're going to work together to understand what is holding you back and how you can put your limiting beliefs behind you for good. So what are limiting beliefs? They are personal beliefs we have about ourselves that constrain us in some way. Just by believing them, they stop us from achieving our full potential. How to overcome your limiting beliefs is one of the most powerful things you can learn how to do to unleash your full potential. With practice, you will quickly see results. An easy way to spot your limiting beliefs when they pop up is to look out for internal comments that start with I am or I am not. Now we don't want to just push these limiting beliefs to one side, out of sight, out of mind. Oh no, no sweeping things under the rug here. We want to retrain our thought patterns to remove our limiting beliefs and have a way of handling them when they rear their ugly heads again in the future. We do this by finding that I am and I am not beliefs that are persistently limiting us. The thoughts might be like, I am not good enough. I do not have enough experience to do this. I'm not as good as. Once you have found your limiting belief, write it down. Then answer the following two questions. Why is this belief limiting me? And why is this belief untrue? How'd you go answering those questions? Hard hey, do not worry if you got stuck answering these questions. You are not alone. Most of us will struggle at first when confronting our limiting beliefs. We've been very good at giving our limiting beliefs a lot, and I mean a lot, of airtime in our own thought patterns, and we have allowed these limiting beliefs to stop us from pursuing our passion and achieving our goals in the past. If you got stuck answering those two questions, that's okay. Let's try another approach together. If a friend came to you with the same limiting belief you just wrote down, what would you say to them? It's a little bit easier looking at it from the perspective of someone else coming to you asking for your help and support, isn't it? The purpose of answering these two questions, three if needed, are to provide you with the space to question your limiting beliefs and provide you with the tools to reframe these beliefs to unleash your full potential. So the next time a limiting belief creeps in, catch it and answer these questions. Why is this belief limiting me? Why is this belief untrue? Don't forget, it's normal to get stuck when putting your limiting beliefs under the spotlight. If that happens, you always have the third question. If my friend had this limiting belief, what would I say to them? This can be a challenging process to use at first, and that's okay. Like most things, practice makes perfect. Use this process when you need to, and don't be hard on yourself if you find it difficult. Drop me an email and I'll send you some exercises to help you practice using this tool. Oh, also, don't forget to let me know how you go with this. I'd love to know if you found this helpful and how you are going with overcoming your limiting beliefs and unleashing your full potential.